It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Hello, Turquoise Beach on Twitter, who says, I watched you on my phone holding that spider. Quite brave. Put me off my soup. We nearly ran out of our office in Lincoln, says Cheryl and Portia. What, just watching it? And Emma is taking a break from revision to watch Steve Backshold on Innuendo Bingo because you're a hero, Steve. OK, so are we ready for Innuendo Bingo? Last time Steve did this was when we were doing Strictly. A lot of water was consumed and spat. Right, ready, mate? Here ready go. to go. Now, you know, um, you know what Spider's like. Is Rosie enjoying it? Steve at the moment? Or she, is it too early to say? She's absolutely fine. Yeah, okay. I, I, she's watching on Interested. Okay. She's sort of keen on the camera, isn't she? Sort of exposing herself. Loves the camera. It, like flat up against the window there. Yeah, if you if you put us on now on the Redmond website, you'll see Rosie just watching like you are. Okay, water please, lads. Let's start with a clip from Deadly 60. It's Steve Backshaw. Now, Steve, I know technology has moved on, but I really wasn't expecting you to put the camera here. We always want to try and bring you with us wherever we go. Now, obviously, with a camera that's that size, it isn't always so easy. But luckily, modern cameras are so small, so rugged, so tough, that they can be fixed pretty much anywhere. Onto a plane, a train, a bike, a kayak, even onto my helmet. <laughs> Now, that took Chris's breath away. That doesn't normally happen, Steve, so that is excellent. Where did you find that? <laughs> they can put them everywhere. Even onto my helmet. Thank you, Simon and Bedford, for that one. <laughs> this is going to be a good one, I can tell. <laughs> OK, water, please. Let us know if you're watching today. Brett from Loughborough is. So is Lee at work. Now we're going to Woman's Hour on Radio 4 with Jane Garvey. Here, Jane is celebrating the life and times of actress and comedian Angie Lamar. Now, Radio... <laughs> what? Radio 4 do interviews all over the world in many different time zones. So you really could be up to anything when they cross over to you live. And Angie went on to star in the TV programme Get Up, Stand Up. She toured widely up to lots of acclaim in her stand-up shows and she wrote a hit play called Funny Black Women on the Edge. I talked to her when she was in Jamaica and she got up at dawn's crack to talk to us. <laughs> Steve Vaxel is probably the best sprayer we've had. <laughs> It's just like a mist. It's like a rainforest. It is. It's like a rainforest in here, you might. And she got up at dawn's crack to talk to us. Lee and Karen send that one in. I think she meant the crack of dawn. Oh, crack of dawn. I don't know what she was talking about. I think she got around the wrong way there. And she got up at dawn's crack to talk to us. I was up at dawn's crack. Quite tired. I'm going to use that from now on. Water, please. Sorry. Hey, Chris, we'll have to get up at Dawn's Crack on Friday. Doing the breakfast show. Breakfast show, show innit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Remind me about that. I'm uh, sure. <laughs> Water, please. <laughs> you just, you just sprayed my crotch for no reason whatsoever. What do you mean, remind me about that? It's the Radio 1 breakfast show. Yeah, remind me about that, mate. Oh, I must turn up for it. Water, please. What a ridiculous thing to say. Now here is here is Chris Packham on Radio Four. Now, unlike you, Steve, I know very little about the great outdoors, although you're teaching me. But have you ever tried this? I gasped with joy, and I drew my eyes closer to it to be dazzled. I wiped away the spilled slop of the river, polished the glare, and thrust my fingers into the sparkle jar. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Packham collecting pond life there. <laughs> and that is an extract from his memoirs. <laughs> fingers in the sparkle jar. That's definitely no one. Way. That's one. Do you get and on thrust my fingers into the sparkle jar. Do you get on with Packham? Chris is incredible. He has mm. the most encyclopedic knowledge of wildlife of any human being I've I've ever met. Mm. He, he can quote you papers from the 1960s and 1970s and the exact references and everything. It's, it's a, a little bit intimidating. Yeah. What a legend. He's, he's amazing. Water, please. And thrust my fingers into the sparkle jar. Mm. 
And now we're going over to Fierce on ITV. Hi, I'm Steve Backshall, and this is Fierce. <laughs> Water, please. <laughs> now we join you, Steve, chatting to your good friend GP, who is explaining his job to you. I can't believe he gets paid for this. I must say, I've most probably got one of the best jobs in the world. Yeah, watching the sunrise every morning, watching the sunset every day. And I get to spend the whole day in the bush. This is the fastest <laughs> Indian bingo I've ever seen. There's such force going on. Oh. I really, really hope you're watching this one today. Wow. Leon Harborn oh. has an office full of local authority employees and absolute floods of tears. The spray <laughs> on Steve is so impressive. Oh. I've been watching whales, Scott. Right, yeah. yeah. It's the whole, yeah, whole blowhole. You, you, you are. It's like you can tell. It's like you've got your own blowhole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's one. Force of it. Water, please. Luke and Alana from Manchester are very much enjoying this bingo today. It's better when you watch. Now it's the one show on BBC One. Chef Ricky is on an alphabetical tour of the UK. And please check out what David has laid out in front of him. David, thank you very much for being B on my alphabetical odyssey and showing me your magnificent clangor. Wow, it's going up in the air. I don't even really get that one. I don't either, but <laughs> thought it might be fun to uh, to, to play. Oh Water, please. Oh it's very wet, Scott. I know it is very wet today. I'm enjoying it. Water, Ooh. please. In case you care, um, he was showing him his Bedfordshire clanger. Yeah. A big crust with a savoury filling. That one had meat at one end and plums at the other. <laughs> it actually did. <laughs> Thank you to Hattie and Liz for sending us that suggestion. Keep them coming, please. Scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Now we're going over to more, more Chris Packham. This time on Spring Watch. Water, please. There is absolutely nothing about birds that Chris Packham does not know. Well, these are visual differences, and, of course, you need to get very good views of them to see that. But there is one other thing I can tell you, and that's their jizz. Sorry, I stopped that too soon. Hang on. My mistake. He is an encyclopedia. He is. It, it carries on. And jizz defines the character of a bird in all of its forms. So he knows everything about birds. It, it, you, that is a, a birding term. It usually means general indica indication, size and shape, and it's, it's how you discern a bird, if it's on the wing, from its flight pattern, things like that. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's, it's a real thing. Yeah. Great. Yeah, with, it's, yeah, G, I, Z, Z. Yeah. Yeah. And water, please. One of our best from last week now. From the island USA with Bear Grylls. Bet you ate him, don't you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to ask that for ages. It's out there now. We're all thinking it. <laughs> Anyway, the island, you have to answer, Steve. The island with Bear Grylls. <laughs> oh, what a laugh. OK, here we go. Water, please. Have you... Have you ever been left alone on an island with a load of men for any length of time, Steve? Well, this is what happens. We got another one. Whoever wants this next one, it's going to be good. I got to follow you, Benji. Oh, oh, there we go, boys. Oh, oh man. Burning. Oh, wow, you're double fisting that, just chugging on two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And finally, oh. it's planting day on the Great Chelsea Garden Challenge on BBC Two. Water, please. This contestant wants to win so badly. He will do absolutely anything to impress the judges. The last two times, my finish really wasn't as good as I wanted it. But it's feeling quite good control for the first time on planting day, so it's, it's quite good for me. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Oh, fantastic. Let me see if they fit in my hole. <laughs> and that, he was planting a eucalyptus tree there. That was today's Inuit Bingo, one of the wettest for some time. Thank you to the legend that is Steve Backshaw. Hi, I'm Steve Backshaw, this is Fierce.
It's a one.